So, KI is back at it again, guys, with another scroll of fortune. This time, it's for the spring. That's why we're in Unicorn Way. I think I thought it'd be real springy, real springtime. Go with the theme well. I don't know, guys. Don't judge me. But anyways, King's Isle released their new spring scroll of fortune, guys. So basically, in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys, um, basically, if it's worth it or not, uh, what I think of it personally and the items inside of it. Basically, yeah, if it's worth it. If you should buy it, if you want to buy it, I mean, obviously that's up to you. Obviously, it's my opinion. But anyways, guys, think of it like a scroll of fortune, like, review, I guess. I mean, I did, like, one of these, I think, for the first scroll of fortune uh, that ever came out. I'm not sure if it had a theme to it. I don't think it did. Uh, but anyways, let's get into the spring scroll of fortune right now. Uh, it came out, was it today? I think it came out today, or maybe yesterday. I'm not really sure. But um, anyways, let's get into it and see if King's Isle has learned a, their lesson at all. So... Anyways, guys, um, I'm also going to compare it to the Winter Scroll of Fortune because obviously that was the last one that came out. And I actually bought it because there was so there was a few things inside that I actually wanted. So, I mean, obviously, like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll end up buying it at the end of the video if I actually think it's worth it. But anyways, let's get into the first tier, guys. So, tier 1, the first reward, three spell elements. Uh, you got Daybreaker, Nightbringer, is that it? Okay, yeah, so none of the new ones there. Uh, you can get those in the catacombs, so that's not that good. Uh, 2,000 gold, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to skip over the bad rewards because I feel like I don't need to talk about them that much. Uh, you got 25 Lunari right here. Uh, Major Gold Elixir, like, whatever. Beastman Seed, those are really easy to get. So, so far, not looking too hot. Uh, you get three Reagents from Mega Reagents. I'm sorry, this this music's just frighteningly loud. Um, <laughs> so, you get three Reagents from Mega Reagents. I don't know, there's like some reagents I think that are like good from this pack, like steel and brass and everything, but otherwise that's not too good. Uh, where was I? Was I here? Okay. Uh, next reward. Okay, this is actually cool. So you get the wild hair, that's what it's called. Um, I actually think this looks really good. Like, you kind of get that, um, forest, what's his name, like, forest grump or something? Like, I don't remember the boss's name, but a few mobs like have this kind of hairstyle. Uh, there's one in Westeria that's like the final boss or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, my overall opinion, I think this is a cool hairstyle, um, and it's free too. So, I suggest going up to this point. I think it's a good stitch for life wizards, so, yeah, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. Not a bad reward there. Uh, 245, we get a mount. Seven days, jungle, uh, warthog. Okay, I like the mount, I'll, honestly. It's a good mount. The problem is it's seven day. King's Isle, what is with these seven day mounts? Oh my god. Seriously? I mean, it's a cool mount. Don't get me wrong, I like it. It's actually, yeah, it has a really nice, like, design, really nice texture there. They're getting better at making things, which is obviously good, but it's 7 day, KI, okay, what are you doing? Come on. Uh, 2 snacks from Mega Snack Pack. Eh. Uh, 3 common beast movies, that's not important. Uh, 3,000 gold, whatever. 3 uncommon beast moon reagents. Uh, I mean, yeah, that just includes, like, the moonstones and stuff. Uh, you get the spring globe. I think this is actually pretty cool. Now that I'm looking at this. I mean, it's like a snow globe. Okay, so... It, oh, it rains flowers? Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I actually kind of like that. And it's free, too. So, so far, all the good rewards have actually been free. So, props to KI for that, I guess. Next reward, uh, that's just a Beast Moon Idol. 50 Lunari, not too bad. Uh, XP Boost Elixir, I mean, it's not bad. Like, I'd never buy one of those in the crown shop, but... Uh, three Ice Elf Beast Moon Idols, eh... Decathlon Fire Rune Pack, eh. Druid's Horde Pack, uh, that's good. I mean, it's a new pack. It's not a bad pack or anything, but, yeah, I don't know. 5,000 gold. Why do they put gold in here? Like, you can literally get thousands of gold, like, in minutes. Like, I don't I don't understand what these gold rewards are. Like, please just remove them. You know, they're just, like, fillers. No one really well likes them. Okay, first reward that's actually kind of interesting. You get a Fairy Friend Jade, so, make us Fairy. Uh, the problem I have with this is it's no one really uses make ass fairy anymore i feel like i don't know that's just kind of an outdated talent in my opinion but yeah i don't know maybe some people would want this i wouldn't blame you if you did it's not a bad jewel but it doesn't even give a bonus talent like if it gave like i don't know life dealer or life giver or something i would say this is a very good jewel but it's not a kroger jewel or it might be a kroger jewel i don't know because it's make ass fairy i don't know but overall this isn't the best jewel the other one was better with the make ass make ass faint and pain bringer that's the whole reason why I bought the Winter Scroll of Fortune, but anyway. Uh, for 780 points, you get the Spring Keeper Multi-Tank. 
It looks kind of cool, but I don't fish. Uh, 200 Lunari. Okay. Uh, 5 Magical Clay. Sorry, I'm having, like, problems switching rewards. I don't know why. 10,000 gold. Great. 7 Spell Elements. Is it just Daybreaker and Nightbringer? That's it. I kind of wish it gave, like, the Leprechaun and the Frost Beetle ones. And, like, the Snow Surfer ones. Is that just me? I don't know. 3 Participation Trophies. Uh, okay. Uh, here's the first emote. Oh! Okay, that's pretty cool. So, I mean, you get... Yeah, okay. I, l I like that emote. It's better than the Snowball one that I got in the Winter Skull Fortune. But, I mean... Okay. I like that, I like that. Uh, three beast, beast Moon Seeds. That's really bad. Guarding Benefit, three hours. Okay, so this isn't bad. Obviously, Guarding Benefit. Uh, really useful for some people. Not as useful now that they switched it to not double seeds, but, you know. Three Death Cyclops Beast Moon Idols. Eh, I don't even play that character. Fishing, get out, get out of my face. Uh, 15k gold, bad. 10 spell elements, that's an okay amount. I mean, if you don't have these unlocked, maybe that could be good. Uh, okay, just a upgrade storm rat thief for him. Wait, does it, what else does it give you? Oh, does it just upgrade it for you? Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, Decathlon Myth Tower Pack, horrible. Uh, double pet XP, that's always nice. I mean, you can't really go wrong with these, so. You know, I'm glad they include those in there. Energy Elixir, can't go wrong with that. Uh, ew, decathlon stuff. Uh, 20k gold again. Okay. So far, this isn't looking too hot. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Three Shining Scales. Uh, that's really meh. Uh, okay, this is cool. I saw this in the little preview that they had on the launch page. Uh, so you get the Sprig of Spring. Obviously, just a cosmetic wand. But I really... Something about this, I just really, really like. I don't know. It's, like, different... In a way, kind of, like, they put a lot of detail into it, obviously. Obviously, they did that so you'd pay for it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, so far, this this Scroll of Fortune, it has some cool cosmetics. But other than that, I don't see much of a reason uh, to buy it. On to the third page, we got Farley's Guardian Pack. That's pretty good. Uh, that gives the Star Jewel Blossoms, which are really good. And you got Eldritch Thread. That's really bad. Uh, three Augmentation Runes. Eh. Three amber, amber's always good. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, triple a oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> five hundred lunari. That's not bad. That's a lot of uh, stuff to upgrade your beastman forms. Fifteen spell elements. We're moving up, boys. Uh, okay, just once again your standard daybreaker and nightbringer. Ten magical clay. That's pretty bad. Uh, decathlon balance rune pack. Ew. Wisteria villa house recipe. <laughs> like. This is just, you might as well just give me a gold reward here, because you can buy this with gold. I just, I don't understand that. Uh, three Fire Ninja Pig Beastman Idols, I don't play that character. I mean, maybe some of you enjoy the Beastman stuff. I don't know, I don't think it matters too much, but. Uh, 200 Lunari, okay. Double Pet XP, three hours, once again, uh, really nice for some people who are training pets. Obviously, these elixirs are good, so, I mean, can't go wrong with them. Upgrade Wrath Thief form, once again. Well, this is the second one? Hold on. Yeah, it is. It's the same thing. Okay, great. Uh, Life Furniture Set 3. Okay. Okay. One random elixir. Obviously, it shows the Hyper Elixir, but you might not get that. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you got the Hyper Elixir, that'd be, I think, pretty decent. It, obviously, it's a good elixir, but like, eh. Eh. Uh, three Uncommon Beast Food Reagents. Okay. Uh, spring, okay, so yeah, you got the painting here. Uh, I have the winter one of these. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, but once again, just a cosmetic, so, eh. One Marvelous Clay. Mmm, amazing. Uh, three one-hour double gardening. This is pretty good. I, I actually really like how they split it off into, like, three potions, because obviously, like, if you wanted to use them at different times, it's very good, so I like that. And the fun, the finale, uh, the final prize that you get. You get Spring Forward. Okay, wait, can you show me that again? Please? Oh, okay, it had a little thing at the end. There it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. It's better than the winter one, which is just literally... I mean, that's the winter one. Like, it's... <laughs> it's not amazing, but... I don't know. It's, it's, it's very loud. Uh, but anyways, uh, my, initial th my initial thoughts on this. Uh, it's, I think, worse than the winter one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought they would, like, get better as time went on, but I guess they clearly haven't. I mean, KI's pr proven to do 
that kind of stuff in the past, I mean, come on, like, with the recent stuff, I mean, yeah, you guys know how it is with KI sometimes. Uh, they don't exactly learn right away, if you know what I mean, but, um, anyways, I give it a 3 out of 10. I mean, there's cool cosmetics, uh, th that's about it. Like, there's, I mean, if you want the Beast Moon stuff, go for it. If you want the elixirs, go for it. I'm not saying, like, I don't know. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy it, but you probably shouldn't buy it. I mean, I don't know. There is some cool cosmetics. Like, I'm a big fan of... Uh, that's the Beast Moon Hunt. It's right here. I'm a big fan of, like, this kind of stuff. Uh, like, of course, the wild hair, uh, the sprig of spring, the, the emotes. I mean, obviously, this stuff's very cool. I'm always a big fan of cosmetics, so if you guys want to go for these in particular, I really wouldn't fault you for it because they're limited edition. Uh, but overall, if I would, if I like, okay, if I would buy it, I, I wouldn't buy it, guys. Basically, I wouldn't buy this one. I don't think this one's very worth it. Um, I might change my mind in the future, but I can't see myself changing my mind in the future. It's just not that good. It's just a little bit. It's a little worse than the winter one. I'm not gonna lie. I give the winter one like a five out of ten. I mean, obviously, I did the whole thing, uh, but what I was really looking for was this. Obviously, this jewel is actually pretty good. I have it on my balance right now. Uh, that's obviously a good reward, actually, that they gave us. Um, the cosmetics were cool, too, uh, so I just thought I'd play through the whole thing because I bought it. And, of course, I mean, the final emote, it's not bad. It's not the best teleport effect, but I don't know. Yeah, of course, you get other emotes like that as well. Uh, but this one didn't really have, like... I don't know, that one good item in it that, like, everyone wants. Obviously, at least for me, it was the jewel. Uh, right now, I mean, the jewel's, like, okay. They just made it a little bit worse. I feel like a Maycast Faint Jewel is just a lot better than a Maycast Fairy Jewel. I mean, just not really many people are looking for the Maycast Fairy talent, so... At least for me, there isn't really a reason to buy this, guys. I'm kind of sad to say it. I would have liked to buy it, because it kind of gives me something to do, and if obviously, obviously I can get some good rewards out of it, uh, that would be really, really nice, but... Guys, I advise you not to buy this. Uh, waste your money on, like, I don't know, fucking packs or some shit. Like, this just... I, I really wish they got better with time. I really thought, like... I was kind of excited for this because it looked like they were going in the right direction with the winter... Um, with the winter scroll fortune and everything. With what they were doing with, like, the jewel and everything. Uh, the Kroger jewel that was obviously limited edition. Uh, you can only find that in Texas, by the way. So it is pretty special. Uh, but this one, besides the cosmetics, guys, there's not too much, uh, good about it. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, hopefully my advice. I hope you take it. Uh, if you don't, that's okay. I mean, obviously there is some stuff in here I would want, but just not enough to buy it, if that makes sense, guys. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future, guys. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys had a good day, or enjoyed the rest of your day. I don't know, guys. Um, <laughs> anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video in general, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it helped out. Uh, so, see you guys next time. And take care, guys.